Welcome to another Apex video. So today we're going to be jumping into a brand new kind of cinematic story trailer that they just dropped today. It's for a new character called Ballistic and it's called Stories from the Outlands Encore. So I'm excited to check this out. If you're new to my channel, I do game development. I'm an animator for a living and I recently got done working on God of War and Callisto Protocol, some really cool games over the years. And so hopefully I can bring something kind of cool and some insights to this trailer. We can check it out together and I can break down some kind of scenes and we can... I don't know, give you something new that you never checked out before. So let's dive in and take a look, shall we? We'll first watch it all the way through and then we'll break it down. Love the style. Like that painterd, painterly look. Looks so nice. All right, so Mr. Ballistic is this old guy from what I hear. That's him and his son. Ask your doctor if Legentifex is right for you. A product of Silva Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Tonight, we chart the meteoric rise and tragic fall of the Thunderdome Games' first celebrity champion, August Ballistic Brinkman. Huh. Once, he was part of the inseparable stylish trio of their era. Until Ballistic's penchant for peacocking and selfish play style peacocking. led to a catastrophe that echoed across the Outlands. While many clamor to see how one of the greatest champions of old would fare against contemporary I like this concept art. Legends, others see him as little more than a has-been and oh, cool. a woefully absent father. The hero, once known as Ballistic, would go from Thunderdome champion to humiliated hermit, forgotten by huh. a world that once adored him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. One question remains. What is the yeah. legacy of disgraced legend August Brinkman? We're proud to reveal the answer in an OTV exclusive. Ballistic's son, Nathaniel, has uh -oh. just qualified for the oh, Apex no. Games. Be sure to catch his first match. His son joined the Apex. He's pissed. Ah, so this is what brings him back. This is cool. I like this. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Not retired anymore. Oh, this is sick. Chicken <laughs> just walking through here. A badass. Oh. <laughs> Is that going to be one of his skills? Mr. Brinkman. Oh, if you're looking for our pension division, uh, they're down the hall, second left. Oh, this you is so cool. Are going to make a deal. Ah, yes, I so fondly remember your soft touch Your soft touch. <laughs> you know this guy? Hush now. It's not your moment, son. <laughs> you're just a pawn. Oh, boy. After years of exile, disgraced legend Ballistic returns to the arena. Will he show the next generation how it's done? Or is he past his prime? Quite the reigning spoon, to be sure. Oh. And for this you want what, old friend? I want to break a sacred vow made to the dead. Ooh. To save the living. Yeah. You keep my boy out of the games. He never sets foot on your soil. Okay. Then I'm all yours. Mm. Do we have a deal? <laughs> oh, that was sick. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> His son's getting the call. I earned my place. Huh. <laughs> 
It looks like his dad left him a little gift. <laughs> Dang! That was sick. I really enjoyed that. That was nice. Really, really well done. All right, let's break this down just a tad here. <clears throat> so, one thing that I really love about this trailer and some of the other ones that they've done here, let me make this uh, a little bit bigger here. So one thing that I really like that they've done about this kind of this trailer is that the style, the style looks really good. I'm really enjoying when they do these trailers and these cinematic story things with the, with the, um, it's not cell shaded, but it just looks painted. It doesn't look super real. And I like that. I really, really like that. I think it looks really cool. I almost want the game to be like that, you know, when you play it. One of the first trailers they did was similar to that. One of the first story kind of things. Now, one thing that um, was kind of cool in here was that they used a lot of concept art. I'm surprised by that. Like a lot of this trailer is actually not 3D animated or anything. Look, it's just like drawings that are animated and they're actually really well done. And then it will cut to like, see, this is all just a drawing. Nice, you know, work as far as like, look, they're moving the camera, they're doing smoke. They're they're really good at like bringing bringing just a piece of concept art to life. Look at this, it's like moving and shaking. Pretty cool, nice work. And it's really kind of neat to see this like backstory behind this character and who he is and why he's coming back to Apex Legends and why you're going to be able to play him and and so forth. I really like that because a lot of times you don't know any of that stuff. You just, you're just jumping in the game, you're playing it. So I really enjoy how like Overwatch and some of these companies make these, these trailers. It really makes you want to play the character even more sometimes. Like he's all mad, but what's, you know, one thing that in this specific trailer is that a lot of this animation in here, it looks um, like some of it is motion captured and some of it is keyframed and a lot of it, I think, is keyframed because there's certain moments in here where it's just easier to keyframe it or it it fits the style more, if that makes sense, right? You, you don't want it to be too realistic. And the people that are keyframing this are doing a good job. Like when he pulls in his hands and fingers and all that stuff, that looks really nice. So they definitely know what they're doing over there, whoever's animating this stuff. You know that the face, all that stuff looks really nice. You can feel the timing of the animation is good too. It doesn't feel janky or any kind of weird. It feels there's like really nice timing and pacing on different things. Feels good. There's no like so far I haven't seen much that I would like critique animation wise um, because it's it fits the style and like even though he's old he's a badass right. He should walk in here and just so I like that. I like all these aspects. One thing that's interesting here is that this kind of new, uh, this looks like his Q, meaning his tactical ability or his ability or whatever, to where you can shoot someone and then with it and then they're unable to shoot you or their gun gets jammed or something. That's pretty dope. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. That's really cool. I just noticed he has some kind of tube in the back of his head, like a matrix or something. I don't know what that is. See that thing in the back of his head? It's interesting. I don't know what that is, though. If anybody knows, comment. And then I've always wondered what the, who this guy was, and I've never really seen him a lot. Um, but he's on the cover of, like, the game. or You know what I mean? Like, there's, like, this cover art for the game, and he's on there. And I always wondered who he was or if you could play him or whatnot. So it's kind of cool to see him in this trailer, in this uh, cutscene thing they're doing. There was one thing that felt a little weird to me animation wise, and that's when the guy has to get up from his desk. So like right here when the guy has to uh, step on this thing or like put his hand on and get up, usually you're gonna, you're gonna put your body down a lot. So what I mean is, let me slow motion this really quickly. Slow motion for me. So when you get up, you, you uh, tend to lean your body to uh, on the where you're picking it up like so when he like puts his arm on here and like goes to get up and do his thing like i feel like there should be more lean there like it's harder for him to get up because i mean he's got to use a cane to walk right so like i just feel like it should have been a little bit laborsome there in that area for animation that part felt like he just got up too quickly if that makes sense 
<clears throat> another thing that um, was interesting is that they're definitely not using any kind of facial motion capture. This is all hand keyed face. You can tell. Um, you can tell it's only got a couple bones, a couple face shapes for it to kind of like move in and out of. There's not a lot of uh, the face doesn't feel kind of alive and stuff like that. It's just keyframed, but it fits the style. Like right here, this looks pretty good. Him talking looks pretty nice. Let me turn it back up. Sets foot on your soil. Then I'm all yours. It's cool. Do we have a deal. Looks nice. And I love the way how you he here at the end, how they're literally like, or the guy is like, letting his son know, hey, it was me that did that, <laughs> by leaving this like little present behind and stuff. I, I think that's pretty cool. Love that. I wonder what that's gonna bring in the story if we're gonna be able to play that the his son later because he's mad and wants to get into the game or something and things change. Who knows? Awesome stuff though. Really cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little breakdown. It was nice and fun. I love to see kind of the style of these things and, and really kind of break down these trailers. It's it's really cool to see different companies and how they make them and you know each different approach that they take. You know, some are super realistic, some are kind of cartoony, some have this like painterly style. So it's cool to break down this stuff and check it out with you guys. So if you are new to my channel, I have a separate channel that is called York Reacts where I break down trailers all the time and I, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff in gaming. If you're into that stuff, game development and learning about animation, all kinds of stuff like that, check out my other channel. I'd love to see you there. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway. So don't miss out on it, I'll tell you what. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.